individuals, as well as Israel and U.S., they have a double standard on human rights. If Israel drops a bomb on an apartment building, killing 16 civilians, including an infant, under the pretext of fighting terrorism, that itself is terrorism. You cannot justify your criminal acts, your war crimes, under the pretext that you have a double standard in your superior. This double standard has to stop. This double standard has to stop. If you're killing a Palestinian, the Palestinian is a human being and has the same rights that is any other human being in this country or any else, anywhere else in the world. Now third, third that we have to focus on. There is a process of continued dispossession of the Palestinians. This is the 60 year of the Nakba. The people in Gaza are those who were expelled from their homes and lands in 1948 area. Over 480 villages were raised to the ground, ethnic cleansing. Some of the Israeli leaders that are celebrated in the White House, and they come into the White House and go, they are war criminals committing acts of genocide, including Rabin himself, who wrote about it in his own memoirs, that he participated in the ethnic cleansing of Lit and Romney. 60,000 people were completely pushed out of their homes and lands by force. A prime minister that celebrated that in his own memoir. Menachem Begin, a prime minister in Israel, likewise celebrated the fact that he committed a, a war crime. He committed a massacre. But in his own memoirs, he said, there would not be a state of Israel without the victory at Deir Yassin. Deir Yassin was a, pal was a massacre of Palestinians, where 234 Palestinians were massacred and then they you got you to expel other Palestinians. This is the 60th anniversary of the Palestinian dispossession. It did not start then, it continues today. When you look at Gaza, these are not poor people. These were rich people. These were people of importance. These were people who went on land, farms, and they were expelled. So as you look to them, and you look at them as pity, and you think they don't have anything, they don't have anything because somebody took everything they had and kicked them out of their homes and lands. If you want to pity, pity the thief that strikes them out of their homes and lands, and they stand and celebrate with a flag that was posted at the tanks that chased them out of their homes. So if you're celebrating, you're celebrating ethnic cleansing. You're celebrating thievery. You're celebrating on the graves of those whom you killed and chased out. And lastly, they claim that God has given them the right to chase people out. God does not, is not a real estate agent. God does not tell you to go and steal people's land. God Use God to, to wear it as a cloak to steal other people's land. In America, we understand that because the same people with that God gave them the right to kill the Native Americans. God did not give you the right to kill another human being. God did not tell you to go and steal their land. God did not tell you to go and marry them. God did not tell you to do this. Anyone, they come and introduce God rationalize the thievery and we have something like this in this country that the, we rationalize murder we might rationalize pillaging we rationalize everything by God as if God is sitting behind you and tell you to kill the other God said thou shall not kill God did not say thou shall steal God said thou shall not kill thou shall not steal Palestinian land that's what God would say. It's a God of justice of all of humanity. And that's what we need to understand. Now, there are some people that are into the environment and I'm into the environment. And we need to begin to challenge these individuals as well. In Palestine, the Israelis have cut down 1.4 million trees. 1.4 million trees. Some of the trees are from the day, from the time of Jesus. When Jesus walked Palestine, some of those trees were alive. Now I can understand you shoot a Palestinian because you think he's a criminal. But what law 
give you the right to kill a tree, 1.6, 1.4 million trees that you cut. What right? What scripture, what text, what political theory, what political ideology that gives you that you kill 1.4 million trees? I can understand you're going to shoot the Palestinians because they're the wrong color, wrong race, wrong religion. But what did the tree do to you? You kick it and gives you fruit. You abuse it and still give you fruit. What did the tree do? And we need to begin challenges on this aspect. 1.4 million trees, they have made the land into a desert while they claim that they made the desert blue. They made Palestine into a desert and that's their responsible. Crimes against the environment, crimes against humanity, crime of genocide, war crimes, violation of the 14 Geneva Convention. And the time will come when we will have them in front of the court of justice where they answer for their crimes. will prevail that the arc of history is very long but it takes our justice and they need to understand that what they did to the Palestinians they will pay for it they will pay for it in the in the court of justice at one point if it's not in our time it's at a time in the future